What does it take to build a $100 million car collection overnight? This fleet's got everything from three Bugattis to a ruthless Aston Martin V12 Speedster. You'll also find two Lamborghini 63 yachts and a Bombardier jet. Each addition is more ludicrous than the last. So how did the son of two Filipino immigrants build Australia's top car collection in just a few short years? This is the story of the Lee Collection. Lawrence Escalante isn't your typical billionaire. As a child, his family relocated to Perth, a city renowned for its mining dynasties and hard partying footballers. He kicked off his career by flipping burgers at Hungry Jack's before going down a path in finance. The 9 to 5 grind didn't tickle his fancy. He dipped his toes into building video games. His startup, White Knight Games, brought out Timothy and Titus, Saints, Martyrs, Heroes. It was a bit like a Christian version of Crash Bandicoot, where players are on a quest to recover St. Paul's letters while getting past their foes. The game didn't take off, and the business failed. It left him $800,000 in the hole at the age of 25, but it didn't stop his entrepreneurial spirit. Lawrence spotted a massive opportunity set to earn him billions. Hello. So what we do is, uh, is very simple but very powerful. We combine social gaming with gambling. The world was introduced to Chumba Casino, a place online where you could play slots, blackjack and video poker. The scene was set for Lawrence to take advantage of an online casino loophole in the US. Through his virtual gaming world, users could play for cash despite online gambling bans. So how did it work? Players would buy gold coins that had no redeemable monetary value. They'd receive the same amount in sweep coins. Those could be redeemed for cash. And players were able to hop between playing just for fun to going for real cash prizes. It hadn't been done before, and now Lawrence held a patent for it. Think of it as being like the McDonald's Monopoly game. You buy gold coins instead of burgers, and you get rewarded with a chance to win through the slot machines. This was the game changer. Business was looking good, and Lawrence was optimistic that BGW might pull in $1 million a day. His forecast looked to be on track. They had 10,000 paying users, and in 2015, pulled in around $4 million in cash. Then the world changed. COVID-19 had come along and everyone was made to stay indoors. People were trying to stay entertained and online gaming was one of the ways people kept themselves sane. The demand for games are turbocharged as people look to pass the time. The growth reflected in the numbers. Revenue exploded to $779 million in 2020, more than $2 million a day, well surpassing Lawrence's $1 million a day predictions. This was a start and things didn't go back to normal. The wild growth was here to stay, and in 2023, they pulled in almost $5 billion. The hard work and persistence had paid off. VGW had become a no-limit ATM ready to fund the Lee collection. What does a $100 million car collection look like? The unofficial starting point for the Lee collection was a 1.5 litre 2001 Lancer GLI stacked with 17 inch rims and a three inch cat back exhaust. It was to the moon from here. His first luxury car was a 2015 Mercedes-Benz E250. It was modded, and even better, it was an S8 car. The first legit sports car to enter the collection was a supercharged 800 horsepower Audi R8. Lawrence has a soft spot for the R8, as this was the first of five in the collection. The move towards the S tier began with the 488 Pista Spider. You'll also find an F430, a 458, four 812s, a 348 Challenge, a SF90, a F8 Spider, and a LaFerrari FXX K Evo. This wasn't enough. VGW have signed a multi year partnership with the Scuderia Ferrari Formula One team. You'll find their logos plastered on everything from the uniforms to the car and you'll probably spot Lawrence out in their garage. The Lee Collection doesn't play favourites. You'll find everything from special editions to super SUVs. 
Some McLaren standouts include the two Elvis, one being a full carbon series and the other being a bright orange Danny Rick commemorative edition. For the German fans out there, there are three SLR McLarens, an AMG GT Black Series, a Porsche GT3, 911 Speedster, and a now Barbie spec Carrera GT. The growth of the Lee collection mirrors VGW's meteoric rise. Like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what story behind the collection you want to hear.